All right, so this video is going to be part one of finding the radius and interval of convergence, okay? So we want to find the radius and interval of convergence for this power series, the sum from n equals zero to infinity of x to the n over n factorial, okay? How we start off by doing this? Using the ratio test, okay? We can take the ratio test, the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value. It's gonna be a sub n plus one over a sub n. Okay, I can even write that out right here, just so nobody forgets, nobody doesn't understand what we're doing here, okay? Just a ratio test. Now, if we do that, okay, we get, actually, I'll write it down here. Don't feel like stretching. The limit as n approaches infinity of, well, we do our a to the a sub n plus 1, we get x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 in parentheses factorial and that's going to be over x to the n over n factorial so we can now just group these things together and we get the limit as n approaches infinity the absolute value of we get x to the n plus 1 over x to the n times n factorial over n plus 1 in parentheses factorial Okay, so first off, what's going to happen here with this x to, uh, to the n plus 1 over x to the n? Well, we'll just get x, right? The n's go away. We're just left with x to the first power. So we do get an x out of that. And what about this n factorial over n to n plus 1 factorial? Well, that's just going to give us, well, that, I mean, that's just this n plus 1 factorial that's just n factorial times n plus 1. So the n factorials cancel out, and we're left with n plus 1. So we get x over n plus 1. Okay? Now, this right here, okay, this right here, we know that that is basically going to be 0 for all x. It okay? doesn't matter what x you're going to put on the top here. This n is still going to become infinitely large. Okay, and you can't just like plug infinity in for x or anything like that. It doesn't work like that. Okay, you have to plug in a finite number. You're going to get an infinitely large denominator, and it doesn't matter what you plug in for x, you're still going to get 0, which is less than 1. Okay, so you'll get 0. 0 is less than 1, which means that the interval of convergence, right, i, is negative infinity to infinity. Okay. It's always going to be convergent. doesn't matter what x you put in. It's going to be convergent. Now, your radius of convergence, well, what's your radius? Okay, well, first off, we know that this is centered at 0. Okay, this is centered at 0. And, well, that means that our radius is just going to be infinite. Okay, well, and, and this goes, I guess, it goes without saying that when your interval of convergence is infinite, your radius of convergence is also going to be infinite. All right, so that does it for our first problem. Next, we have the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 2n in parentheses factorial times x over 2 raised to the n. So, another thing, we got to do our ratio test here. Another ratio test. Okay, can't do root test, obviously, because this is not, this piece right here is not raised to the n. Okay, so... Limit as n approaches infinity of, we get the absolute value of, well, we just plug in a n plus 1 for n, and we get, well, this is going to be a 2n plus 2, okay, because 2 times n plus 1, you, you got to distribute that 2 out, okay, don't forget that, and that's going to be, in parentheses, factorial, times x over 2 to the n plus 1, and that's going to be over 2n factorial times x over 2 to the nth power, right? Just your a sub n. So, we kind of already, already have these separated, to be honest. It actually looks pretty nice already. So, first off, let's deal with this because this might be a little easier to explain. You have an x over 2 to the n plus 1 over x over 2 to the n, and that's just going to give you an x over 2. So, we can write this as the limit as n approaches infinity. Of we know that we have an x over 2 here. So we'll write that first, I guess. 
and that's going to be multiplied by a, well, what do we have here? A 2n plus 2 factorial over 2n factorial. Now we can rewrite this 2n plus 2 factorial as, well, this is the same thing as 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1 times 2n factorial. Okay, and then we multiply that, of course, by x over 2 to the n plus 1, that's over 2n factorial times x over 2 to the n. Okay, we already figured out what happens with these things, in case we don't need to worry about the x over 2s and all that stuff. But you see here that the 2n factorials cancel out, and you're left with this 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1. So that's what you're going to get here. So you can see here that as n approaches infinity, well, the only x that you could put in here to make this thing not be infinite is 0. Okay, You can put a 0 in for x, and then, well, then you have your limit equal to 0, which is less than 1. Okay, so that means that your interval of convergence is just, well, x equals 0. Okay, and that means that your radius of convergence, well, that's of course also 0. Okay, so that is the answer to our last problem here. That's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series, the explanation video for radius and interval of convergence, and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.